What's going on YouTube? It's Jason with JJ Drones and we're back in Oregon and we are right next to the Columbia River where uh, we did our last video and I was able to show you a little bit of my drive from Idaho to Oregon to right around this point. This is just a view area and I will let you uh, have a look here at what I have to look at. Isn't that beautiful? Now you get to see a lot of this while you're driving down the road and I attached a couple GoPros to the semi. So now when I'm driving down the road, you'll be able to see exactly what I see that's actually on the semi. So I will show you that here in a second. But I do want to fly the drone because I've never flown here before and it's just a beautiful day to do it. Now my Okay, so we've got one GoPro mount here on the deer bumper. And then we got one GoPro mounted right there. Okay guys, we're gonna get heading down the road now. Not sponsored, I got this vest uh, on Amazon for real cheap, basically says on the back that I'm a certified drone pilot and uh, not to disturb me while I'm flying. I don't know how long these GoPros are gonna last on the batteries. When I went down to Madison, they almost lasted an hour, almost. We've got a truck on the shoulder here. I moved over and the guy in front of me, he's not going to. That's okay. Now I'm gonna move back over here. And that's how we do it, boys. Always watching your mirrors. And looking ahead of you, I saw that truck sitting on the shoulder way before this guy decided not to go over. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he doesn't care. There's so many drivers take their half hour breaks on the shoulder of the road. You don't know who's broke down and who's actually uh, just taking their half hour break on the shoulder. Trip planning is the number one thing that you need to do when you become a truck driver. You need to know where you're going to stop for your half hour break. You need to know where you're stopping to get fuel. 
You have to know where you're going to be stopping by the end of the night. Is it an area that you can just go there and park, or is it an area that if you don't pay ahead of time for a parking spot like I did up here in Troutdale, you're not going to get a parking spot at all. These are all things that have to be going through your head every day. And then you have to take into account weather, uh, traffic, everything else. Everything needs to be on your mind while you're driving a truck. There's the John Day Dam. barge out there. You see those barges out in the water and you just wonder what kind of weights they have to have on them to keep them from basically being blown away. You can actually see the white caps splashing against each other in the water. can see the winds on the American flag in front of us. Tip number 5,336.7. If you want it to rain, just plan to film something. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is incredible. And now we're coming up to another dam. This is going to be the Dalles Dam. This dam is massive too. train for uh, Stormy Sky uh, Rail Productions. Shout out to those guys. You guys are always commenting and watching my videos, so I thank you so much. And I brought the trains to you. <laughs> well, this guy here is pulling uh, doubles. 
He's got two tanks that he's pulling behind him, and it looks like, I don't know, what would you say he's hauling in that, uh, in those tanks? Comment below. <laughs> He looks very bored. I always wait until I can see both of his headlights in my mirror before I move over. So if you're behind a truck and uh, you're like, why in the heck is that truck not moving over? Well, I don't want to cut off another driver because I don't want another driver to cut me off. It's golden rule. It used to be when truck drivers would pass each other, they always waved at each other. Always. This was like the thing when I started driving. You'd truck driver passes you, you wave. Not anymore. Old timers still do. Some of the young bucks do. It's very rare now. And that's sad. There used to be this camaraderie between truck drivers because we all do the same job. And we all have this respect for one another and we're all out there to help one another and now Trucking has become more of a in it for yourself kind of a deal. And nobody waves, well, not nobody. Hardly anybody waves to each other anymore. When you drive at night, you used to be able to depend on the person to flash their headlights for you when they feel like it's safe for you to move over. Rarely anyone does that anymore. There are just so many changes. See, another guy didn't wave. There's just been so many changes over the years to where people just don't have the same respect for one another as they did back when I started truck driving. And like I said, it's sad. I want to get that back. I like to see truck drivers always waving to one another and always flashing their lights to light you over at night and then when you let them over to flash your tail lights to say thank you. Well, it's still there. And that's the one still recording. And as you can see, that camera is still there too. It was at this point of our journey that I found out that the phone was getting close to dying, but I didn't think anything of it. So I kept on recording and while I was driving, I was really trying to get to the point where I could show you guys the Multnomah Falls. And because of that, I just continued to talk and record. And well, when I made it to the truck stop, the phone died and it lost the last recording. So that's why you're hearing me now. Driving through Oregon was absolutely beautiful and you will be getting up to the point where you will see the falls. I slowed it down to about 10% so you can get a really good view. So let's finish the drive and we'll close it out when I get to the truck stop. Well, YouTube, we did the drive and you got to see all of it. Well, most of it. 
The GoPro did end up quitting right when I was starting to do the fuel for uh, the truck. Not much I can do about that. I was pretty happy though with how the batteries lasted. I went through five of them. One of them started out at 99% and cut down to 1%. So we're gonna have to try charging them up and uh, see if that happens again. So I got to fly the drone over in the view area and that was really, really nice. I mean, just the area over there was beautiful and we got to drive down the highway. I still have to see what the video footage is gonna be from the GoPro with all the rain, but hopefully it turned out well. And then hopefully we got to see Multnomah Falls while I was driving by. And with the ability to slow down the uh, frame rate at uh, 120 frames per second, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a good picture of that. Have to wait and see. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the share button and then hit the like button, subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video is going to be uploaded. I thank you all for coming along for the ride with me and we'll see you later on down the road. Bye-bye.